Joining me right now, Congressman Gus Villarakis, uh, looking for a review of the nuclear facilities in the United States. What does the review mean? What exactly is that? For the review, it will be a 90-day review, the response plan, and of course to make sure that they are safe uh, and secure. And there will be a 90-day review, and they'll follow up with a 30 and a 60-day. Of course, we don't know exactly what happened in Japan. Right. Uh, we are sending folks over there uh, to the Tokyo area, not near the site. To, to examine uh, what exactly happened so we can learn from... Uh, you know. there, is, there is the fear and now the argument goes, well, maybe we should just back away from nuclear power because you just never know. No, no we, we can't do that. We just got to make sure that we're prepared. God forbid something should happen. But these are safe power plants. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't suggest that. But I will tell you this, Bill Young and I, Congressman Bill Young, mm -hmm. uh, sent a letter uh, to HHS uh, last summer to make sure that the the potassium iodide pills are available to Floridians, but citizens all over the, the country, God forbid something should happen. Now, then the Crystal River facility, they've got an incredible plan that all of them are required to have. They had some problems with some cracks, though, and they were sure. shut down for a long time, and they're going to continue to be shut down. So I think what it does is it kind of spooks the public. Yeah, but no exposure to, to radiation. That's uh, true. And, uh, so, so I think we have to continue. But uh, this is a lesson that we can learn and, and uh, be prepared, God forbid, something happens. Do you think, though, that there will be legislation that people are going to try to kill nuclear power in the United States? I think there will be legislation, but I don't think it'll pass. Uh, in nuclear power, we haven't built one in 30 years, and I think that's part of the energy solution. Now, w another concern, particularly up in the New York area, is they've got a plant that's about 25 miles outside the city. Right. Crystal River is a, is a long ways it's away a, in a, a very rural yeah, area. Yeah. So, uh, any possible review of that or not? Well, the Energy sec uh, Secretary said that they were going to take a look at it and review it, and that's probably good action. <laughs> How do you plan for, and this is getting back to Fukushima, yeah. a 9.0 earthquake with a tsunami right on top of it? Yeah. Well, you know, actually, the, the earthquake. It, the nuclear power plant survived that, as you know. Right. It was a tsunami that did it. Well, we just have to make sure that we have our... I've checked with the local agencies, and they're prepared. They're prepared for something, as much as you can prepare for something right. like that. And Le Levy County... So we can't let our guard down. Right. They're going to they're gonna support... We're building another couple of reactors up in the, the Levy County area. Right. Have you had any chance to, to review those plans? I or, haven't had an opportunity. Or, or do, do they even ask your input on that kind no, of thing? No, but you know what? I always volunteer. So I've been to Crystal River, and, uh, and I know that they, they were talking about this early on. So I should probably review that, and I, I believe I will. We may go outside to Maryland, too. There's one outside of uh, D.C. during the week, and I'll take a look at that as well. So why isn't there a greater push, then, on the other hand, to do more with nuclear power, considering that France is 60% yeah. of their energy Yeah, we're behind, Al. Uh, exactly. I mean, 20% of our energy comes from uh, nuclear power. There's no excuse. Uh, but we have to be prepared. And, uh, and, and we will be. All right. Congressman, thank you so much. Thank for you very much. It. Thank you. Uh.